welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, we are working on this Peugeot 207 and we're going to be doing all the welding um, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the pulling and the, and the repair to this seal and the door um, the best we can. Um, <clears throat> I have been watching loads of videos on YouTube um, and every single video that I've seen never gets it perfect. There's always a little bit of filler needs to skim across it um, and then rub down and paint afterwards. There's always a little bit, a little bit of filler, but we're going to try and minimise that filler as much as you can. That's that's the that's the plan. That's the idea with this <clears throat> is to sort of you know really get that filler down to next to nothing if we can. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Um, but before getting into it, guys, just a mass thanks for all the support on the last video, the Rex of Riches Peugeot. Uh, that's really coming along now. <clears throat> so yeah really happy with the way, the way, the way that's coming along um but we are we are moving on to this one today but it is absolutely filthy this car so let me spin you around uh let's get into a plan um because obviously we've got to do the, the wheel as well the alloy that's got to be painted so a few bits and pieces um on this video today so <clears throat> let's do this right guys so like i was just saying we have got some bits and pieces to do around this car today. Um, so we'll get through as much as we can, as per usual. And yeah, I think what I'm going to start with is the alloy wheel. Because <clears throat> I have put a bit of filler on it yesterday. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, do you know what? It's pretty good stuff, this is. It's pretty good. So done that yesterday. Um, and it's all solid and dried now. So that's good. It could just be rubbed down. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it just needs to be rubbed down flat. And then we need to, uh, we need to primer first. So over here. So we'll give that a primer. <clears throat> and then we're going to hit it with some paint. And then we're going to hit it with some lacquer. Right there. So, yeah, all good stuff. So I think we need to do that first. Because if I, if I do this first, rub it down. Um, and then primer and then once that's dry and we could put it to one side that could be dried for for an hour or so <clears throat> and then once that's drying we can then jump onto this and then we can start obviously doing welding some some rods to the bottom seal for i think that's what i'm gonna do first is do the bottom bit because that's the worst part um we'll do that first and start pulling all that out hopefully <laughs> never <laughs> never used one before never had one before so it's all new to me, and um, yeah, but what a decent, nice uh, birthday present that was, um, and uh, yeah, I didn't say actually in the, in the intro, it's, it is actually my birthday today, so yeah, <laughs> happy birthday to me, um, but <laughs> the wife was like, oh, do you want to, judge, are you having a day off, are you going to stay at home, and I said, well, no, nah, like just, you know, everyone's doing doing their, their own thing, the, the, you know, the wife's at work and stuff. and the, <laughs> So so there's no point. It's, I might as well come in and, um, yeah, punch out some more work and do some more video, do another video for you guys to watch for tonight. But, um, yes, <clears throat> let's crack on. Um, this car is a bloody good clean as well. It's filth. Uh, and I, I really want to sort of get it cleaned up. I don't like them like this. Um so I want to I want to see what's underneath, like even like doing that there. I've just wiped that over, and there's like some sort of marks all over the bonnet. So I really want to give this a good clean, so I can see what's going on. But once it's all cleaned up, the, you know, it, I think it's going to be a lovely car for someone—a right nice, decent car, cheap little runaround. Um, and that's what it's all about in it. It's just getting these cheap little runarounds flipped over um, and back on the road. Uh, yeah, so. Let's um, let's crack on with the first thing. I'll set you up. Let's get this alloy wheel done and primed, uh, sanded, and then and then primed, and then we can move on to the bodywork. So let's do this, guys. we 
Right guys, I just want to quickly step in and uh, yeah, show you this. So, rubbed it all down. I thought it was okay. <clears throat> and then I've done it with a primer. And um, yeah, not so okay, to be honest with you. So you could just see it just there. It looks absolutely shocking. Um, so yeah, I cannot leave that. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the rest of the priming um, around the edges and stuff, just leave it for now. Let that dry, come back to it, rub that down again, <clears throat> and see if I can get it down <clears throat> far enough. If not, it's gonna need a bit of a filler. Um, but it's very minimal, like really, I don't wanna put a bit of filler over it because it, it, yeah, it's just it's just it's just too small for the for the filler. But I'll see what needs to be done. But uh, yeah, for the moment, I have to wait for the, this primer to dry now. So yeah, let's leave that. Let's move on to the car. Um, I really want to take the car out and get it clean. So I think what the best the next thing's going to do, I'm going to do is take it outside, give it a clean. Bring it back in, dry it all off, and then we can have a good look at um, the uh, the repair on this seal and door and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I think clean first, then bring back in, then we can start work. So then I can see what I'm working with and what I'm doing. So, yeah, let's do this. Right, okay guys, yes, that is so much better. Um, now I can see, <laughs> I can see exactly what the car needs, um, where the attention needs to be, do you know what I mean? Where, where do I need to go to and stuff like that. And it, to be honest with you, it ain't that bad. There's obviously gonna be some battle scars around the car, um, like I showed you earlier underneath the, underneath the dirt here. So it's got some light scratches. I reckon I'll get that out flat and polish that out um we've got some little scuffs here on the bumper bump little bumper scuffs um but again i'm going to try and flat and polish those out uh, around the car there uh where else did i see them there's a little bit of lacquer peel here a little tiny bit so mm, i might have to rub that down a little bit is it 
a few scuffs here again on the front of the bumper. Uh, again, I'll flat and polish them out. Um, so, yeah, it ain't that bad. There's a few chip marks on the side of the door. You know, normal normal stuff for doors, really, where they get they get banged against walls and stuff. So I've got some touch-up paint on this colour, which is the... What was this one, anyway? Cave? It's there, somewhere. Um, yeah, I've already got the paint on this one. Scratch here. Again, I can just feel it, so that might just need a touch up and a bit of paint work on that. Um, here on this back quarter, we've got some work to do here. So I'm going to take the wheel off, take the inner liner off, and see if I can sort of tap it back uh, from the inside. So yeah, we'll have a play with that. We'll flat and polish this all off here as well. I'll probably lose a lot of that, to be honest with you. It's not dented. It just feels like it's just, yeah, it's just scuffed. So I'm going to probably flat and polish that out and get lose, lose a lot of that there. There's a few bits and pieces there. You know, I'm, I need to try and, and the handle, flat, flat and polish that off as well. I need to try and sort of, you know, spend a bit of time, get in the car to the, to the best I can when it comes to the sort of the outside body work uh, and stuff like that. Just Just make it presentable and just make it tidy, really. Um, there is one thing that I've noticed on this car, and it's the wing mirrors. So, I don't know if you can see that, but the wing mirrors there is showing its paint underneath this black. So, I think someone's painted these, these actual black and gone over the original blue. So, I might just pop that off, this cover. I might, yeah, I'm going to pop these covers off because it's like it on both sides and I just think it looks a bit, I don't know, strange. So, yeah, just, just, just doesn't look, just doesn't look right, I think. So, it's just there, you can see it's just under. So, it's under this black. Whether or not I can try and rub it off, I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can use some chemical. I've got to be careful because I don't want to attack the underneath of the black, the blue. Um, so, yeah, I will be looking at that. Uh, we obviously got some issues inside with the uh, stereo. We still need to sort the stereo out. Um, so, that's that. Also, the see this dash thing here? You see inside there? It's all like caved in and pushed in. I don't know if you can see it like that. You see it's all pushed in. So, I'm going to have to remove this whole centerpiece here, get to the back of it, repair that, put it back together. So that's another job we've got to do. Um, so yeah. But now I've cleaned it. <clears throat> I feel better now I've cleaned it. <laughs> so yeah. But he's got the nice, he's got the nice LED river, the, the tail lights. Um, the older ones, I don't, f is that gonna have it? That won't have it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look quickly, quickly, quickly. Yeah, no, that's not. It's different. So, yeah, this was this was the next up. I think probably. I think this this was. I think it's a sport version. So, <clears throat> yeah, my, or, or facelift, and they've obviously facelifted the back lights to LEDs. So, which is quite nice, quite good. Uh, back bumper's pretty cool, guys. Nothing really sort of issues there. A couple of scuffs, but nothing major. It's pretty clean. Get me um resurrect sticker on there. So yeah. Um oh I've done the wheel as well. So I rubbed it all down and I started to prep the alloy. So I can't even remember where it was now. Because <laughs> I rubbed it down and I've sprayed it. Um and as you can see, it's pretty spot on. So yeah. I'm happy to proceed to the next stage, which is the base colour coat. Um, so, yeah, I've set that up in a little while. Um, actually, let's do that first. I've set this up, get the paint on so, that's, so that can be drying. Um, and then we're going to move on to this bad boy and see how we get on with this. Um, 
I'm going to be looking at some videos as I do this, just to see, you know, I don't want to mess it up and do the wrong thing or, or you know, it, there is instructions and, you know, instructions are pretty vague, I'll be honest with you. It just shows you how to, doesn't actually show you how to use it, it just shows you about this this here, which controls the, the welding time. Um, so, but I want to know, I want to know how all this works, really. I know you, you, you can weld that to the car, and then you can use this to hook it on and pull it in stages or, or sections. Um, you know, the, the, the normal thing to do is, is to weld these, these pins on and then pull, pull, pull the pins with the um, slide hammer. So, yeah, that's all fun. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. Let me do this first, guys. Let me set it up, get it painted. It can be drying whilst we're moving on to this. Let's do this. Right, okay guys, I think I'm set up, ready to go. I've just been um, <clears throat> outside the front, just testing it on a, an old brake disc, and I think I've set it up right, and yeah, it's just, we've just got to give it a go now, um, and then just see how far, we, just see how it goes, that's all we can do. Uh, I have put an axle stand underneath the car, just to raise it up a little bit, to give me enough access for the seal, um, to try and pull, and yeah it's just a case of trial and error so let's um yeah let's just see how we go let's start putting some pins in and um start welding so go for it so you put these put these pins like that and it's a case of Yeah, all right. Right, okay guys, so, yeah, as you just saw there, it's starting to come out. Um, and as I, was, as I was pulling it with a slide hammer, I was hitting it, tapping it around, hitting it in. Like that. And apparently it just, it flexes the metal um, and makes it easier to pull out and you don't have any creases and stuff like that. But, yeah, um, it's doing it, it's working. <laughs> It's definitely pulling it out, but it's just very, very time consuming. Um, it's going to take, you know, a lot of time messing around with it to get it to a nice point position where, you know, you might be able to just go over it with a bit of filler or even just sort of paint. By the time you're knocking it around, knock it in, knock it out. Um, it, the trouble is with this is that it's got a natural curve like this here. It's got a natural curve in the middle. It's not just straight and flat. So... I'm just trying to sort of, yeah, just trying to do the best kind. That's pretty good there. And then when it gets to here, it starts to change. This has got to go up a little bit. This has got to come in a little bit. So it's in and out sort of all over the place. But yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a nice bit of kit. And I'm definitely going to be using it quite a lot, to be honest with you. I've started to use it up here. I've put two, two up here and I've pulled that one out at the top there. That's done. Uh, and this one here, it's pulled it out here. But I need to pull some more here. The cre there's like a crease in the middle, all the way along. So I need to sort of do some to do some more spikes and then sort of pull it out, gradually pull it out along, um, tap it back, and then that should be done. That one should be pretty easy, to be honest with you. Have a, just just doing this one here. Um, I think that one's going to be pretty good. So yeah, it's this one that's going to take the time. 
definitely this these seals are a bit of a nightmare quite solid though that part of obviously the cars are quite a solid piece structural piece of it so but yeah it's not it's definitely doable obviously one snapped off there you can see it, it's there so that needs a little bit of filler going over that um it really needs a spot weld on that really but um yeah what i might do actually i might try and put another one on it and then grind it back so i'm kind of i'm kind of welding it yeah that's what i'll do i'll put another one on there weld it weld it on there like that snap it off and then i've got a bit i've got i've welded it then and then i can uh, blemish it down with a grinder um and uh yeah fill and paint i suppose but uh it's, and, and this is my first go as well, so you know I've got to, I've got to give it a bit of time. You know, it's quite easy to use. It's quite a nice it's quite a nice thing to um, to get going as long as you, as long as you've got the the right um, thing. I've got, I've got to put one probably about there. Oh no, it's not on. No, it's not on. <laughs> but yeah. I'm messing around with it. I'll crack on, guys. I'll set you up and let's just see. Let's continue with it. Um, yeah, continue with it and let's see what I can get done. But anything is better than what it was. So that's that's the main point of this. Is, is If you're making it better than what it was, then it's progress. And uh, progress is better than no progress. So, yeah. Let's do this. Right guys, I just want to cut in there, just quickly show you um, and explain what I've been doing. Um, I'll be honest with you, it's, it, it, it has, yeah, it, I, I've, I've got some success with it, to be honest with you. I have pulled it out, you can see that it has come out a little bit. It still needs to come out a bit more, to be honest with you, but I think, I'm, I'm, I, think I need to switch it up and use another um, way of, um, of doing it. I'm thinking about using these, these little hooky thing, eye things, and then sort of weld them, just go bang, 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 watch weld blows and put a bar through and then and get a puller on that. Um, or these. Yeah, I think I'm, I've got to I'll switch it up a little bit and try a different method. Um, this is called a wriggle bar, I think. And obviously you just weld, you weld it to there like that weld the bar on um, and then you use this this claw thing hook it on and bang it out um, so yeah I think I've kind of when it comes to these these studs yeah I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything else it's, qu it's quite a thick area down there to be honest with you so it's the seal part so yeah you got to expect um, you know a little bit of resistance because it's it's you know it's quite it's quite a structural part of the car the door has come out really well um i've just knocked it back a little bit it's still gonna need a little bit of filler I'll grind it back a little bit more um and then i'm gonna use some filler over the areas and then that'll be ready for paint but this definitely needs a bit more on it to be honest with you so i'm gonna keep going with it just do the best i can with it try and sort of you know sort out the door a little bit more 
the door's gone in a little bit there, so I need to pull that out a little bit there. So yeah. I'll keep going. Let me um I'm gonna do some research how to do these. And then um I will come back to you and I'll set you up and then you can see me doing these and see if these makes a difference. But don't get me wrong, I, I, it does look better. I have pulled it out some. Um, it just needs to be pulled out a bit more, um, especially there. That, that that bit there is where it needs to be pulled out, pulled out the most in the middle at the top. It needs to come out in line with the door. And I don't just want to chuck a lot of filler over it. That's what I don't want to do. So, yeah, I'll keep going. Um, and hopefully we can get some results um, with this with this puller. Yeah, this welder. This is spot welder. So, yeah, let's keep going, guys, um, and let's see what we can get done. So let's do this. Right, okay, so that's the filler um, on for now. That one's pretty good. I've just done that out of shot on, on the camera. I just checked it and it, it didn't quite um, pick it up. So that one's done and that one uh, could be fine. Just wait for it to dry and then we can rub it down. This one, I think, needs a little bit more building up in the, the, the centre part just to get the shape. So I'll, I'll rub it down first and then see what it's like and then go over the top of it again and then just get the shape <clears throat> how I want it and stuff like that. But it ain't that bad, to be honest with you. When you look down the door, um, it's not that far off. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that, the way that's come out. Um, it, that is a good tool, do you know what I mean? I, I, once you get used to it and, and, and then the way that it needs to be done and stuff, like these pins are not fantastic because the, the, the slide hammer kept pulling off. But when I started using these rings... And then started using this hook, um, <clears throat> then it and this and this claw thing, it really did start sort of moving and, and making a difference. So definitely, I definitely recommend using them um, rather than the pins. But you know, each to your own, I suppose. And it's just that it wouldn't it wouldn't stay tight enough in there um, to get to get a good enough sort of pull um, on the actual slide hammer. But you know, it's it's served a purpose, and that well, that's what it's all about. Isn't it? It's 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 doing a purpose. Once it's um, pulled out the best you can, then you obviously you take it with a bit of filler, and then you hit it with the paint, 
and that is what we're going to do with this one, guys. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's turned out all right. What do you think? Like, just yeah, drop me a comment. And let me know what you think, guys. Um, but I've just got to get the shape of the actual seal. Like I said to you, that the seal sort of go, it, it sort of curls in a little bit in the middle um, all the way along. And uh, I just, as long as I get that shape and, it, uh, and bring it flush with the door, I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. But uh, yeah, it's definitely better than what it was. Um, you definitely need to use this tool to get it out a bit more. You can't just hit it with a, a bit of filler. It was, it, it's, it's just too, it's just too deep and big. Uh, we have got a little bit of, um, we have got a little bit of a dentage here. So, like I said to you, I'm going to probably get the wheel arch off on there to see if I can get any, any sort of, anything on it. Um, because I actually, I could actually connect this slide hammer to this like that and then grab it yeah I might try that you know I might sort of try that over like that get this claw on the back of the back of the, the wing like that and then just pull it out with a slide hammer that might work actually yeah I'm gonna try that I am gonna try that guys um, so, but yeah, it's slowly getting there, this one, slowly getting there. It does take a lot of time. Um, it's time consuming, definitely, but it's definitely worth it. Um, if I can make it look a little bit more presentable. Um, the alloy wheel, that's dried off now. So all I've got to do is hit that with some clear lacquer. So that's all done. Uh, yeah, bit of clear lacquer and then the tire can go on that. And that's sorted out. And then I suppose really it's not it's no it's no it's no issue, there's no reason why I can't take this for an MOT whilst we're doing the other repairs and getting the other bits and pieces done. As long as I do my checks. Yeah, there's no real reason why I can't do that. So yeah, on the next video on this one, guys, it's gonna be sort of really pushing along. Um we're gonna do the painting, we're gonna do anything else we need to do to it, get it for an MOT. Um and yeah, this will, this will be quite close to the end of this one. So, but for now, that is going to be the end of today's video. Uh, I really hope you uh, like the video that I'm doing. Don't forget to give the video a thumb up. Drop me a comment. If you've got anything to say, let me know what you think about me using this new tool that I've got, uh, the dent welding puller, puller tool. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. So that's it. Take care. See you soon.